What is up, YouTube? It's Paul Sinistrous here. We're back today on Infinite Warfare. Oh, I got that yep. right. There. Yeah, I got it right. You got it right, man. <laughs> you got it right. Play it infected. Yeah. Play it infected. <laughs> That's everybody. Once Holy again, shit. Once again, playing it. Dude, there's nobody in this lobby. I know. Dude, I I was just I looked into the trending section of YouTube, and there... What the fuck? It kicked me out. Um, PewDiePie apparently posted a video called Deleting My Channel. Oh, yeah, has you, like, you haven't seen mm, that? Million. No. Wait, are you still in this uh, game? No, dude, it kicked me out. Oh, wait, maybe I am. Oh, I might have put me oh, in Oh, God one. dang it. Wait, you got, you got put me in a one. different one. All right, just invite me. Yeah, all right, so basically what happened was um, he said the other day that, I don't know, he was talking about something or whatever, another, I don't remember exactly how the whole, the whole thing like originated. But basically, he said, at 50 million, I'm going to delete my YouTube channel. So, yeah. everybody's freaking out and stuff like that. So, but here's the catch, all right? I don't know if anybody knows this. He didn't, he deleted a, he deleted a channel. He deleted one of his channels. He did not delete his PewDiePie channel. He, uh... he made a channel called Jack Tep the Kai 2 because, and he said that this was very, very recent. He said his golden play bro button got broken and he wanted a new one. So, he's going to make a new channel and see how fast he can get to a million subs and get that golden play button. So he deleted that channel. <laughs> wow, seriously? Yeah, I thought Holy it was actually shit. really funny. I find yeah, it is funny. A lot of people get or uh, don't like they don't like PewDiePie right now, or they don't like him because he's not a gamer anymore. Personally, yeah. I don't like him for the same reason, but I think he's funnier than what he used to be. To be perfectly honest with you, really? Like, I, dude, I, really I used do. to die at his videos. Like, I don't watch them anymore, but like, I thought they were funny too. But I was younger at that point. Like, he used to cater to kids. You know, yeah, it's like he was funny and he was really funny. He was funny no matter who you were, but he was especially hilarious to the to the like the the 13 year olds and like the 14, 15 year olds that thought it was the funniest thing ever to like play a <laughs> right. horror game. And when the monster came out, grab a chair and jump out a window, scream at the top of your lungs. You know, yeah, yeah. it's like that's funny. But I don't know. I find his comedy now just more, much more clever. And I, I, I just I just enjoy it more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Huh. Like stuff like I've that. I, I had no idea. Oh. I, like, it, you know. Yeah. I invited you to, by the way. I I don't get notifications, so I didn't see it. But yeah. um, yep, I can't join. Yeah. You can't join. No. Get. Are you in a lobby? I'm in a yeah, like just in a multiplayer, like waiting to play the lobby. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm, I invite you one more time. You do that. I'm gonna play Minecraft. While I'm waiting for you. <laughs> um. Let's see. Invite to a game. I but, like that um, dog. I want a dog like that. What kind of dog is that? I don't know. It was on the Minecraft home screen. Oh, so you have. Have you ever? I've got to ponder watched... whether I want to invite. I want to accept that or not. Continue playing Minecraft. Um, Fast and the Furious. How do you How do you feel about it? I've seen. Ever watched it? I haven't seen all of them. I've seen some of them. They're pretty good. I've seen like some. Them. Yeah. Um. For me. That movie was, whenever I was younger, like, everything, dude. Like, I, I, I would actually fucking love that movie. I think I told you that a little bit already. Yeah. And I still do. Like, they're, they're my, like, if I had to say, like, what's my favorite movie series, it's it's that, no doubt. Hmm. And today, or was it today? Today or yesterday, something like that, Um, they released a trailer for the new movie, number really? eight. Yeah. Number eight, huh? Um, yeah, number eight. And I'm so disappointed, bro. Oh Why? my god! Like, all right. Okay, so Fast and the Furious. You ever seen the first one? Nope. Okay, the first one. It's all about how it starts out. And there's this guy, and uh, he seems like this kind of normal guy who's trying to get like into this almost like street racing world because that's what they're in there california they're doing street races yeah but it ends up being more than that he's actually an undercover cop because he's trying to figure out who is hijacking 18 wheelers in the middle of the night and you know stealing and making all this kind of money yeah and it ends up being the vin diesel <laughs> uh <laughs> and paul walker so paul walker's the cop vin diesel is the the guy stealing from 18 wheelers so automatically it's it starts off in this really it's like really based around street racing and they have a lot of street racing yeah. but it's also because there's like a bigger picture like their their villains you know like yeah. what they're doing and um 
so that was the picture of the first movie and they, it kind of followed that same trend of like crime as well as racing street racing yeah and it followed that and it grew and it grew and like in the third one it was tokyo drift it threw everybody for a loop um because there was no original characters in the movie it went from characters you knew in the first movie he characters was at the end you though, right second. vin diesel showed up at the end he did right at the last second. And nobody knew, had a clue what was going on. I remember I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, why are we in Tokyo watching this little country kid that I've never heard of? But yeah. So that happened. The fourth one came back. You saw um, Paul Walker again. And the fifth one, the fifth one got really, like, they started getting really, like, big into, like, what was going on. Sixth one got really crazy. What's going Seventh on? Seventh one. Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? Like, what's what's the whole picture? What's going on? Um, at this point, um, Vin Diesel, yeah. his character has like gone to prison. They've broken him out. They've went to Rio de Janeiro, and um, they did you get that robbed. Invite? Yeah, I did, but it didn't let me join it. Damn, I, don't, man. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, just um, myself then. <laughs> yeah, for uh, they they stole a bunch of stuff. They they stole like ten million dollars from like a drug lord in in Rio de Janeiro. Um, they went to London to to like fight crime with uh The Rock <laughs> to like kidnap a national criminal, and uh, that was was that the seventh one? There's so many I can't keep track of them now. Anyone in the seventh one during the seventh movie is when Paul Walker died. Real, um, real life? Yeah. yeah, real life died. So they were like almost finished filming the movie. That happened. Paul Walker died. And they end the movie like amazingly. Um, did a real good job at, you know, basically like, killing his character off but not killing him off. Mm-hmm. And uh, and that movie, was that the one? Was that the one in London? No, 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 no. That, the last movie, I'm sorry, was the one in Abu Dhabi. Um, it was the one with Jason Statham in it. Yeah, Jason Statham was in it. They had to like that. That was their uh, their whole thing to like go capture him. Mm-hmm. So did that. They ended the movie. It was like really nice, like subtle ending movie. Like everything was happy. Everything was good again. And now this last trailer comes out, and I seen it today, and. This is what it's about. Basically, okay, Paul Walker's character is gone. And instead of, like, obviously, if this is going to be the last movie, and apparently it's going to be, which they said that about the last... Several? Four of them. Yeah, three of them. Um, If this is going to be the last movie, you would think they would bring, like, a real, like, nostalgic feel to it. Like, you know, bring it back to, like, the the beginning and, you know, give everybody kind of like that that this is nostalgia, you know, this is where the movie started, this is where it's going to end. That's mm-hmm. where you kind of expect. Instead, they decide to take Vin Diesel, whom is, you know, he is, even though he's like a bad guy in the series, he is the good guy, you know. It's like he's yeah. he's the guy that you're there for. And it's their, their whole group, their team of people that are all like together with each other. And they say, for some reason, we're going to turn him against y'all and y'all are going to like, try to fight and figure out what's wrong with him and he's going to go off with this villain and like commit crimes with someone else it's like what the fuck why why so it's like it looks like basically a whole entire movie it's just going to be like it looks like a jason bourne movie hmm. you know what i mean it doesn't look like fast and the furious it looks like yeah like a different like that that action crime movie instead of Fast and the Furious, this is about cars, but also about this. You know, mm-hmm. it's like they changed the whole feel of it. And it's, to me, it's like, it'll probably be a good movie. I understand, like, maybe a little bit of why they're doing it, but it's like, I don't know. It's not Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, like, I haven't, I don't know how to put it. I haven't seen all of them. And I've always mm-hmm. kind of actually wanted to, because the ones I did see, I was interested in. Like, they did they did appeal to yeah. me. Uh, so yeah. I know I saw, I think I saw the third one. I definitely saw Tokyo Drift. I don't know what it was. Uh-huh. But, uh, right. Yeah, like they all—I mean, they all pretty like appeal to me and stuff. So I've always kind of wanted to see all of them, but I haven't really—I can't really put my input on it because I haven't seen all of them. So right, right. I can't right, really yeah. say, you know, like I don't yeah. have that uh, that input to put in. Especially, yeah. Because Cause, I, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, of course. 
And for me, the first one and the second one to me are by far the best ones. The the first movie, I can just about recite every word. The second one is, as well. I can almost recite every word in the movie, like almost no problem. Wow. So it's like those two movies for me because the, the first one came out whenever I was six years old. I think I was six no. years old. I can tell you no, I just thought I defected. Uh, I was running around the whole yeah. time. Nobody was getting me. Ah, oh, damn. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I came out. Oh, that movie came out when I was six, and I saw it on DVD. So I was probably about a year later. I was probably about seven whenever I saw that movie. Yeah. For the first time, and dude, I literally watched it and watched it and watched it. And the same thing when the second one came out. And the crazy thing is, okay, the first one, Los Angeles, California. Yeah. I think. Second one, Miami, Florida. Um, third movie comes around, starts off with this kid at high school getting in a fight, little country kid. I don't even remember where they're at, Arizona or something like that. Pretty sure I still get drift. Yeah, he gets sent to Tokyo, and you get you meet all these new characters, little bow wows in there, mm-hmm. and um, you see Vin Diesel right at the end. But then the fourth movie comes out, and the first thing you see is Paul Walker, like running, catching this guy, or whatever. And th- through the whole fourth movie, there is no clarification on what happened in the third one. So you went from first, second, third, what the fuck happened? Fourth, we catch him back up. <laughs> fifth, we catch him back up. S- through the whole entire fifth movie, again, there is no clarification. Oh, is it the fifth one? Yeah, is because <laughs> in the third one, there's this guy named Han. Ah, uh, sure, may have, Yeah, service. he may have, I think he came back in the fifth one. And what it was is, okay, in in the third movie, Han, this guy, this is the Asian guy with long hair, he dies. Okay. And either the fourth, fifth, or I think, it's the, I think it's the fifth movie, he's alive. So it's like, what the fuck is going on? Still, there has never been talk of Tokyo or anything. And oh, to this day? At the, no, no, no. And then the sixth movie goes on, Han is still alive. At the end of the sixth movie, number six... Han's girlfriend ends up dying. She freaking falls off the truck that's hanging from a plane. She dies, and he they like they asked him what he was gonna do, whatever, and he was like, he their plan was to go to Tokyo. So he went to Tokyo because he felt like he needed to, and that's where the third movie fits in. So this is the order: first, second, fourth, fifth, sixth, third, seventh. That's how, that's how that's the chronological order of these movies. All right. So it's like watching it from like if you watch it like as they progressively came out, it was so mind boggling at what the fuck happened. <laughs> like I feel like they didn't even know they were just waiting for like the right time to be like, okay, yeah, now we're we're gonna just do this now. Clarify about this now. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Yeah, Timelines, that, man, can be tricky. That's serious for me, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, Thailand is going to be very, very tricky. If you ever get the chance, though, especially if you never watch any of the other ones, I don't care if you watch the one where they kill off Paul Walker. No, if you ever get a chance, watch the first one, then the second one. Those movies, man, those those are the movies that made those movies made Fast and Furious. I don't care what anyone says; those movies made it. Hmm. Yeah, they. Oh man, they're yeah, great. I, don't think, I definitely don't think, don't think I've seen the first or the second one. Yeah, for me, I just love cars, man. I, there's probably a lot to do with it, like. Yeah. Paul Walker to me, that's like, other than like my family and my dad, that was my role model, man. Dude, like, oh man, I don't know. I don't even know what that dude looks like. I have no idea. Really? He's a handsome man. He's is, he is the one man that I have no problem saying that he is a beautiful man and I would man marry him if I could, man even though he's dead. Marry. Yeah. Oh, dude, I freaking love that guy. I wanted to be him whenever I was a kid. Like, when people want to be superheroes, I wanted to be him whenever I was a child. <laughs> and Goku. Him and Goku. That's all I wanted to be. I wanted to be Paul Walker when I was a child. Oh, dude, I'm telling you. Did I ever tell you the story about whenever he died, what happened to me the next day? Yes, you did, but the viewers haven't. I didn't? You did, okay, but the viewers so, haven't, so come on. 
Pack <clears throat> it on. Paul Walker's. Oh death. crap! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Um, Paul Walker's death. Okay. The next day, I was at work. I was um, working in a place called La Rose. Austin. So I was working and I uh, work on houses. So I was taking the gutters off a house. Yeah. And um, I was up on the ladder taking the gutters out. And the gutters, whenever you have a shingle roof, like a regular shingle roof, like the little particles yeah. of like the shingles, like they come off in the rain and they collect in the gutter after a while. Yeah. And I seen that. And as I was taking one off, I was taking a screw out the gutter. And I looked down and there was a little toy car, like a little matchbox car turned upside down. And um, I grabbed it. And I turned it back over, and it was a red Porsche Carrera GT. And the car Paul Walker died in was exactly that. It was a red Porsche Carrera GT. And it was so crazy. Like, because that whole day, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes you get that that feeling like, I don't know, there's just like a deeper meaning. Like, there's just something. And it was just like one of those days. And it was so weird. And I remember he died in that car. It's, it's like a very infamous, famous car. Like a lot of people have seen it before. A lot of people know it. And it's like, how in the world could that be possible that it so happened like this This thing was so greatly on my mind, this death. It, I was thinking about it like just all day because it was like unbelievable to me. And then I freaking find a model car of the exact car, exact color that he died in. Like that just blows my mind. Like what the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty insane. It's like he was it, looking it, down it, upon you and saying, it's "Yeah, it right. was like, it was like, yeah, you're good, dude. You're good. I, I see, you, I see you feeling some type of way right now, but you're good. You're good. I don't know. That's pretty that, cool. That that blew my mind, dude. Like it really did. I remember getting down and showing my dad. I was like, "Look at this." He was like, "What?" I was like, "Do you realize what this is?" He was like, "A toy car." <laughs> no, you don't understand. This is I my life. I pictures of my girlfriend and everything. Like this is it. Fucking blew my mind, dude. It really did. It's like there's no. How could that be coincidence? How? There's no way that is coincidence that at a random house that I've never been to before, don't know the people, taking off their fucking gutters. This is ten feet in the air. A gutter hanging on the edge of a roof has the exact model toy car of the car that a famous person that was very near and dear in my heart died in the day before that's i don't care what you say that's not coincidental can't be no that's can't not, be that's not no can't be and it's like i wish i could make this up and whenever i look back in my mind it's like there's no way that, that like how could that actually be that possible and i remember i still have the picture saved somewhere like i'm on computer or something because it was just like it's fucking nuts. It's so man. insane. It just blew your mind, huh? <laughs> oh, dude, it blew my mind so bad. Like, yeah. I can't, words cannot explain, like, the way it felt. I think like, everybody literally... has something like that. Because I think, I yeah. think everybody, yeah. whether, I don't know, whether you understand it or whether you, like, really think like that or not, I feel like everybody, nobody really has knows, but everybody yeah. kind of wants there to be just, like, kind of a <clears> higher <throat> power, you know? Right, like, yeah. Like somebody th that's looking down on them that's just like kind of just going to make everything all right. And I think everybody they, has yeah. those moments in life where something happens and they just really want to believe not. that mm -hmm. you know, there's that, no way that's, it could that's not. one yeah, of those right, things. Right. I agree. Like this was done for me. Yeah. It just feels like, man, it has to yeah. be. Like Paul Walker's my guardian angel. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. <laughs> I didn't know you could hide it. I'm totally hot. Oh, man. I know you yeah. can up this thing. That for me though, that that fucking blew my mind. That shit was crazy. <clears throat> One of them experiences, man. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I was so disappointed when I seen the trailer. What's that? Um, the Infinite Warfare kill camps. Why? Why do they suck? The Infinite Warfare kill camps are are terrible. They are absolutely horrible. They are so bad. I remember the first time I saw it. Dude, I got so sick. I ended up with like the stomach virus. I was throwing up all night. Bro, it was horrible. I'm convinced that that, 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 that this, this game was the origin of that. I have no doubt in my mind, all right? The kill cams, it's like, you know how most kill cams, every kill cam, every game you've ever played in your entire life, uh, the thing comes up, it kills somebody, whatever happens, it's running. It slows down. It reaches its maximum point of cl the climax for the slowdown. Like, it's, it's at its slowest point when you take that shot and you see that 100 point, like, they die, all right? Right there. Then, yeah. 
the thing continues on whatever then like the last it, like, it might speed up for, like the last like half a second but it's not it doesn't play for too much longer than that it's like you kill the guy half a second later the thing's over mm -hmm. you kill people in this game and then two seconds later in the, in the thing they die you know it's like it's like yeah. kill cam you run up to him you run up to him it's, it's starting to slow down you kill him it slows down to its slowest point point i'm thinking the first time i ever saw a kill cam on this game somebody killed somebody it, and it started it kept slowing down i thought surely he's gonna somehow turn around and just kill somebody miraculously in the last second he's got to right it's got to happen and it mm -hmm. didn't like it just it just took forever like it killed him and it slowed down and it had a solid two seconds you can see the counter it's that like like when you kill, yeah. he kills the guy it's at like one second like 0. 0.9 seconds like 1.9 seconds uh -huh. it's got all kinds of time left it's <laughs> It absolutely disgusts me. Yeah, now that you say that, I kind of do. I kind of do realize what exactly what you're saying. Everybody's gonna see it right here. Look, there's one person left. He's gonna get killed. And when you see it, you will not. You will acknowledge the fact th that this game has the worst. Yep, watch it right here. Watch it. Wait, watch me salute first. Ha ha. Right here. You're gonna see it. <laughs> All right. He's running. You got four seconds left. You got three seconds left. And look, dead, two seconds left. 2.2 2 seconds left when the thing goes over. This whole time, he's been falling over dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, they are kind of shitty now that, you, now that you say that. I mean, unless, like, I wouldn't have a problem with it if the guy would do something like dramatic. Then, like, he, he gets hit with the knife and he's like, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But My life is <laughs> fading. I'm here. Yeah. Lord, take me as he falls to the ground. And his hand, like, yeah. it, like, it, like, there's a close up on his hand. It like hits the ground. Like the body just like shakes. Like this huge dramatic like death scene. I would not mind right. that at all. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, it's, it's very lackluster. <laughs> it is very lackluster. That'd be awesome. Have kill cam like that. Like aim down the sight. You pull the trigger. The dude dies. And next thing you know, it's like it's like Romeo and Juliet. It's like holding somebody. Like like his buddy. Oh God, his yeah. buddy comes over. He's like holding him. He's like, I'm not gonna make <laughs> it. <laughs> and he's like, Don't say that. Yeah. All this is the kill cam. That needs to be done. It's like I'm not gonna make yes, it. Yeah, holy shit. Don't say that, Jimmy. You're gonna make it. Everybody's got their own name. <laughs> DLC packs come with new de uh, death scenes for the final kill cam. Oh my god, yes. It's like fucking uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that would be awesome. All the kill cam, like they have a kill cam where somebody like snipes somebody in the foot. He's just walking, and then like he, he just falls <laughs> over face plants. Oh my, like, god, oh my yeah. god, my foot! Oh man. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's up? Huh? Wait, what you said? I said that needs to happen. Oh yeah, that, that would be awesome. That'd be amazing. Alright guys, this is how we're gonna end the video, okay? After this thing comes down, we're gonna do something. And I hear you saying, I hear you typing right now, I can hear it, stop typing. I'm not finishing my question yet. You can't be typing because you don't know what the question is. You, know, you can't answer it. You're not that smart. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, dude, I'm not fucking typing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. I was, talking to, I was talking to everybody else. All right. So what we're going to try to do is we are going to try to see if we can do a, a, a majestic swan dot. With, oh, man. You know what? No. This is what we're going to do. No, never mind. Never mind. What are we going to do, Jordan? I, first, I thought that we're, all right, we're going to do a majestic swan dive and die. And that's how we're going to go. For a second, I thought I was going to try to see if how fast I could like get my entire team killed. But that would be really, really difficult. Yeah. And I don't think I could do it, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm skilled enough. Unless I just really cock block someone. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I just got to find the enemy. I just got to find the enemy. Have him chase it off after me. And then I'm gonna jump off the edge. And so I'm gonna send him a message. Enemy, enemy, you killed him. You killed the enemy. You bastard. The enemy. Come here, enemy. Come here, enemy. Come here. Yeah. See you later, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking dick for that. <laughs> all right, you guys. That is all I've got. <laughs> for the, that's all I've got for this video. <laughs> Wait, let me see if I kill his guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's all I've got for this video. So, like always, the link to the last video is going to be in the description. And there will also be an annotation somewhere in the video. So, you just got to look for that. You'll find it. It'll be somewhere around here. There's also a link to our Instagram and our Twitter somewhere in that description as well. So, if you want to go over there mm -hmm. and stay connected with us, that's a great place to go and do so. Let's keep you guys informed over there. And that's just a really great place to be if you want to keep up with the channel. But if not, um, I don't know. Go eat a pickle. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. That's all. Yeah.
Jesus. That's all I've got to say. So until next time, guys, we've been in Pulse Industries. Later, guys.